how to use QuickBase, QuickBase tutorial for beginners, QuickBase training review. Hello guys and welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use QuickBase. If you're looking for a powerful and versatile no-code application development platform, QuickBase is an excellent choice. So whether you're a business professional, project manager, or IT administrator, QuickBase empowers you to create custom applications to streamline your workflow and improve productivity. At the end of this video, you will be able to learn how to use QuickBase even as a beginner. Now, as you can see right now on our screen, we are currently logged into our account and I already created a trial account for our QuickBase tutorial for today's video. So we will be exploring what we could do with QuickBase. Now, there isn't too much features in QuickBase, so we will be able to discuss all the different features in one video. As you can see right now, in our section right now, we have apps over here. This is where we will be able to create new apps. We also have pipelines over here, wherein we can create our pipelines. In this section, we will be discussing this in a bit. And you also have your exchange beta over here. Over here also on the right section, you will be able to see information like QuickBase sample apps over here, a learn and help section where you could ask the community or check out the help guidelines, even have the university and builder resources over here. Now, we will be checking out two main features in today's video. You have your create new app and the pipeline sections over here. So let's focus first on create new app. In create new app, as you can see here, we will be able to create a new app for us to use when we click on this button over here. After that, this pop-up will appear. We could create a new app through an AI using the start your app with AI. Then you could create a custom template in minutes. You also have the start from scratch option over here, which would allow you to define the tables and fields to build your own solution. You can also import a spreadsheet for you to use and turn that data spreadsheet into a new application or import from Lucidchart, which would allow you to visualize and plan your app in a Lucidchart diagram. Now let's go check it out on the start your app with an AI over here. When I select this option, as you can see, we will be redirected to the visual builder. And as you can see here, we will be able to create our new app. So we're simply going to put in our industry. Let's say our industry is the IT department or whatever IT related industry we are. What you want to do with the app, uh, I would like to have it as an uh, inventory management. There we go. And what do you want to trap? Let's say sales, something like that. Then simply click on continue after putting all those information that is being asked for you. I suggest that when putting information, you put accurate information to that. QuickBase will be able to help you create the output or the app that you're trying to make. And there we go. As you can see, we have our section over here. Over here, we have our products. We have five fields in this section. You can see here. We have sales and customers over here. Basically, these are the three main corresponding components that will be interacting with each other. The products that you have and then your sales, the products that you are going to be tracking, how much products have you been sold, selling. And then you have your customers over here, which will, of course, buy your products. Then you have your different elements over here on the left side. You could add a table if you want. You could drag it. There we go. Then you will be able to add a table over here. You will be able to delete this by simply clicking this. Then you have the option to delete it over here. You also have the option to add text over here. You can drag it into your field over here, which will allow you to add a text. You also have a text multi-line, rich text, text multiple choice, text multi-select text over here, and checkbox over here if you would like to add the checkbox. For example, we could add it under customers over here. As you can see, we could add a checkbox in this section. Then you have also your numeric, currency, percentage, rating, all of the stuff. For example, I would like to add a rating for my customers, of course. I would like to know their preferences. I could add that to our customer section over here for that field. Then you could simply select it as rating. There we go. Then you have your dates over here. You can add like a date and time, time of the day, duration, and I calendar over here. You can also add some links if you would like to add some links. For your specific section, phone numbers, emails, users, list users, vcar, 
and advanced options over here there's a lot of different things that you could add for your specific fields but for now let's keep it simple let's stick with this one for now you have your product sales and customers over here so we could add and click on create app and by doing this we will be able to create our app which is our report an inventory report for sales that we have selected earlier based on the information that we have added and there we go we have an app created just for us immediately we have your products over here you can simply add the product name, description, quantity, price, image, even if you want to add some image, sales record, and add sales over here. Then you can simply click on add sale if you would like to add sale and it will automatically redirect us to sales in this section. And it will show us the sales that we have. Right now we could add it over here like the date. Let's say the date is for today. Quantity, let's go with two. Price, what is the price from earlier? Let's say $500. Then related customer, we don't have that yet. Then product, then simply click on add customer, which will then add a customer. We will be redirected to the add customer section over here, which would allow us to put in a customer into our section. So let's say my name is Chris. There we go. Then let's leave it as this. Then you have your rating over here and click on save. Anything that you added earlier in our section earlier will be seen in this section. Then you could see. You could add a customer over here. Then I click on save in this as well. Now our record is saved. Now we are redirected back to our products. And now we have a sale for our specific product, which is our HP Elite Desk 800 G5 over here. And it's not going to be perfect. We made some changes as you can see here. Uh, but it is very useful that all of it is interacting with each other. And I really like how we are being redirected to another section automatically so that we could monitor and do it ourselves, actually, which is very nice. So this is our very easy created IP inventory management app that we have just created, which is automatic. Now we could create a new app. Once again, we could check out the new ways or other ways to create our app. As you can see here, also the apps that we have created are going to appear here. Our IP inventory management. Then we could click on create new app. Then we could start from scratch as well. And let's see the difference between the AI builder and the one for the scratch. And as you can see for the scratch, right away you could see the difference. How you're not being shown the questions of what type of app that you're going to create. And it's not going to build your things for you. You're going to have to build it on your own as you can see here. Then you could add a table over here like the table name. Let's say sales once again. There we go. Then you could add your different fields over here like text. You would like to have text to appear in your section. You would like to have like a checkbox up here. You would like to have a currency, all of those stuff. You can simply put in any information that you would like to be displayed for your table. And it is all customizable depending on the information that you would like to have on that specific field or specific box over here. Now, after that, you could do the same thing we did earlier and you will be able to see the application that you have created over here on the top part. Now for the pipeline, you could create a new pipeline over here. When you open on the pipelines, you will be able to view all the different pipelines that you have. You have your names, tags, channels, you have the on and off if it's on or off. Last triggers and errors over here. So to create a new pipeline, you can simply click on create pipeline, then name it over here. Then click on create pipeline. And then let's wait for it. There we go. We have the option to create a triggered, scheduled, or manual pipeline. Manual allows us to start it manually. Scheduled will start once the schedule has been achieved and for the trigger it will start when a specific event occurs in real time or you could also build it from scratch if you would like now let's check out trigger as you can see for the trigger you will be able to check out the different triggers uh, as you can see here you have the different applications that you could use then it will trigger it and once something triggers from the specific application let's see for example we would like to have asana as a trigger then you could have it over here like task created if a task in Asana is created, it will automatically continue with QuickBase and it will update or delete a record or create a record. There we go. Then you can simply add steps over here if you want. You could add more things that you want to happen once an Asana task has been created. But after this, you can simply click on next. And after this, our pipeline will be created. Assuming things go well, let's see. Let's wait for it to load. 
And as you can see, we will be able to see more information about our steps over here, actually. For the Asana, as you can see, you will have to log in, authenticate it, enter the workspace and a project, and similarly with our QuickBase over here. You have to enter all this information that is required for you to add. So after adding this, you can simply have, or you will now be able to have a pipeline that is automatically going to occur when something happens, which is very useful, which will save you a lot of time. And that's it, guys. That is how you could use QuickBase, especially for beginners. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.